Hey Star Wars Vintage Collection fans, I've got another review for you today. Got the Artillery Stormtrooper. I've been excited for this one for a while. Um, he is number 263 in the line. I can't believe we're nearing 300. That is absolutely insane. Have reviewed Vader, Kenobi, Luke, Cal, Cassian. Have yet to pick up Vel. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on the Clatoonian Raider. I do ha do have one. I just got the one with the ATST. So um, yeah, it's cool. I like, really like the card. I love what they've uh, love the way they've sort of increased the the ranks of the stormtroopers with sort of specialty troopers like this one and the Incinerator. Um, so yeah, let's bring the figure up and we'll get straight into taking a look. So do have a hair attached to him there <laughs> it's not mine so yeah accessory wise he does come with his sort of standard E11 which he does grip onto nicely we'll put that down aside uh, the pauldron which is removable up on the top there on the shoulder not on mine I have actually glued mine in place it's a little bit wobbly and just looked come across a little bit weird um, I'd rather it be in place um, same with the backpack, I actually glued that on. Uh, but yeah, nicely detailed. I just didn't feel the need to take it off at all. So um, these little individual grenade canisters, mortar shells, I suppose. Um, they do sit in there nicely, so I didn't feel the need to glue them in. So that's nice. Uh, the hand here sort of gripping hand actually feels a little bit more open than some other stormtrooper figures I guess that helps it could just be me um, but yeah in order to hold that it gives it a nice snug grip so and of course as well comes with the uh, the mortar launcher which has got a sort of a simple peg Ball and socket there on the base, and the same on here. So just a shrunken out version of the Black Series one. Something I did actually sort of work out is a place to carry this. So as you can sort of see there, there is the uh, hole. There's this little tab on the backpack. So you just sort of pop that in there. It just sort of holds onto the backpack, which is nice. And then with the legs, we sort of lock them over the top there. And you can have this guy sort of just transporting it on his way out to the battlefield. You can arm him up with the uh, with the E11 and have him marching out to battle just with that sort of stored there. I know it's probably not intentional, but it worked for me. So I think it looks quite good. And then the cool thing is the grenade ammunition shell whatever does fit in there so that's cool and again all four of those are removable and do just lock in there nicely so they just they're not going anywhere but yeah do I do love this stormtrooper mold it is absolutely definitive, in my opinion. And yeah, just the look on the look, the yellow, the paint. And some scratch marks and stuff on there. And sort of the black bit on the chin's probably a little bit wonky, but you know, only because I'm looking at it through a close-up lens that's the only reason I've noticed it <laughs> otherwise I haven't even taken note so not a big deal to me but yeah I love love the yellow not, not unlike the red of the incinerators I'd love to see some some different sort of specialty stormtroopers different colors I don't know what else could they do the scuba stormtroopers with blue, I don't know, or green, who knows. 
but yeah, still really nice figure. And it's a, it's a good one you only really need to get one of, um, unless you're going to have a couple of squads, of course. But yeah, looking forward to uh, being able to display the collection again at some point and have this guy with the uh, incinerator and a bunch of squad of stormtroopers. Articulation's great. Nice solid three and three quarter inch figure. I hope you've enjoyed checking it out as much as I've enjoyed sharing it. Definitely got some uh, some more videos on the on the go coming really 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 soon. Hopefully next week. Um, but yeah, appreciate you tuning in and checking out some of my recent videos and figure reviews and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with more very, very soon. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the very near future. Thank you very much for watching and uh, may the force be with you.